Hi, my name is Anna Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will talk about the activities Get Credential, Type Into and Type Secure Text. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will mean a lot to me. So what these three activity, activities does is that it let you store your credentials on Orchestrator instead of in UiPath. So no one can seize it. You just type it in one time in Orchestrator and then you uh, get it in UiPath from Orchestrator. And you don't have to store them in variables or directly in uh, your workflow with anyone can but anyone with access to the system can seize it. So first you need the, the link between UiPath and uh, Orchestrator or you need to link them. I show you that in a guide. So if you haven't done that yet, the linking, then uh, watch the guide. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So from now on, I assume you link your UiPath with your orchestrator. I repeat, I assume you link your UI path with orchestrator. With that said, let's move on. First, we go to orchestrator. We want to store a password and a login, and we want to uh, log in on this blue prism side here with username and password. So first, we go to orchestrator. We will click assets under automations, click the plus, and then the asset name, you can call it whatever you want. We can just call this blue prism. And then on the type, you will choose credential. Then you can put in your username and password. So this one will be mine, minus Matt Blue AJ. You won't get my password, however. Like this. And then we will choose create. Now we created the credential here in UiPath. We will use this name in a little moment. So now we just want to, uh, first we want to get the credential from Orchestrator, so go to Activities, choose the Get Credential here, here, drag it in. We want to, uh, first we want to, in quotation marks, we want to, um, the input should be the uh, asset name from Orchestrator, so that one was Blue Prism Cred. And the output, the password and username, we store that, store them in uh, the password, we store that in a secure string, and the username we just store in a string. So let's see, we just, uh, in the password, just click Control K. We could call it str pass, like this. And in the username, that'll just be str use, like this. We can see in the variables that it created a string and a secure string. That's good. Then we can type it into um, the login section here on Blue Prism. So first, for the first one, we'll need a type, just a type into straight on, and then we'll indicate the username here, and that will just be the str user. And for the secure, for the password, we'll need the type secure text, which you can find just below it. So drag that one in, indicate uh, where you should uh, pass it here. And then up under uh, input secure text, you just uh, refer to your str pass. So this one will type in the username and the password, uh, which it gets from Orchestrator. And no one can even seize it. So actually, I can show you an Orchestrator here. We can just uh, if we click edit. You can even access the password. That's very, very good. So click cancel here and then go to here and let's see if it works. So now it will run and we need to uh, find the actual window here, find it and then it typed it in. Let's see if it can actually log in. Click the login. That was not a part of the workflow. However, it should work and we can see that we now logged in. So that's a very, uh, actually it's the only way I would recommend to store your credentials in UiPath. That's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please, please subscribe. And otherwise, have a very good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.